After being on the throne for almost seven decades, the Queen has seen her fair share of Prime Ministers. In fact, she's overseen 14 of them. Her relationships with those selected to run the government have been varied to say the least. Here's a rundown of some of Her Majesty's PMs. Winston Churchill was already Prime Minister when Elizabeth became Queen. He was apparently worried working for the young princess, who at the time was only 25. He even described her as a mere child. However, despite his initial nerves, they ended up with a close friendship. Harold Macmillan held the Queen in high esteem, and apparently the feeling was mutual. He described Her Majesty as very charming and very well informed. Harold Wilson was the first Labour Prime Minister under the Queen's reign, and they surprised many by working extremely well together. John Major became Prime Minister at the start of the 90s. Mr Major and his wife Norma socialised with the Queen on trips to Balmoral. So it's fair to say they got along quite well. When he lost the election in 1997, it was reported that the Queen was moved at their final meeting. Queen Elizabeth was rumoured to have had less easy relationships with other PMs. Edward Heath allegedly failed to strike up a positive one with the Queen, one of the reasons being that he didn't have the same passion for the Commonwealth that she did. Then of course there was Margaret Thatcher the first female Prime Minister. It was famously reported that the Queen referred to her as that woman. In 1997, Tony Blair took up the role. Apparently the Queen and Mr Blair had a less than flourishing relationship, which wasn't helped by the fact he disclosed details of their private conversations in his memoir. David Cameron's relationship with the Queen didn't rock the boat, but it's reported Her Majesty was displeased when he also disclosed part of their conversation about the Scottish referendum. It's been said that the Queen looked forward to her weekly meetings with Theresa May. Apparently, Queen Elizabeth was impressed with the work and hours of negotiation Theresa May invested in her role over the years. And most recently, Boris Johnson became Prime Minister in 2019, the Queen's 14th PM. Her Majesty hasn't given much away when it comes to her feelings on Boris, but she reportedly sent her best wishes when he became a father again earlier this year.